HSBC Bank has agreed to buy Silicon Valley Bank's subsidiary in the United Kingdom for one pound. Just one pound. When the investment banks fell in 2008, they were bailed out with taxpayers' dollars. Now the banks have done it again. The reason that led the Silicon Valley Bank in California to fail have spread to other parts of the states. When all of this was happening in the U.S.'s West, the East was likewise preparing to make the same mistake. The New York-based Signature Bank had also failed and was seized by the regulators. This was a sign of how quickly the financial hemorrhage was spreading across the United States. The collapse of the Silicon Valley Bank ranked second in terms of size in the U.S. banking history, closely followed by the Signature Bank collapse, which became the third largest bank failure in American history. Signature Bank had assets of more than $110 billion. Her assets mostly mean loans that the bank has extended. When everything was going good, the rising startups deposited their money with the Silicon Valley Bank. And the bank, to earn interest rates on bonds, parked the money into government bonds. At the end of 2022, the Silicon Valley Bank, a little-known US bank that specialized in funding only startups, had $200 billion in assets. Here, assets mean loans extended and roughly $175 billion in deposits, making it the 16th largest US bank by assets. As soon as their most recent attempt to raise more money was failed, a large number of investors, mostly from the tech sector, made substantial withdrawal around the same time. The bank had to sell bonds at a loss to pay for the withdrawals, which resulted in the biggest financial institution failure in the United States since the height of the financial crisis in 2008. The main issue for Silicon Valley Bank, according to US Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen, is rising interest rates, which have been raised by the Federal Reserve to fight inflation. As the rates increased, several of its assets, including bonds and mortgage-backed securities, lost their market value. Investors and owners of major large banks were bailed out during the financial crisis of 2008. However, thanks to the reforms that followed, this was not going to happen again. The customers would attack other financial institutions in the coming days if the US did not save the bankrupt bank. Also, other areas of the economy would be affected by the banking sickness. As a result of the rescue plan arranged by the Bank of England and the Treasury under the authority of the Banking Act 2009, the Silicon Valley Bank's UK subsidiary was sold to HSBC for just one pound. Just a pound.